Okay, what else can we do with uh, functions and lists? Uh, there's various built-in functions built into Python that you can apply to a list of numbers. So things like max or min or sum to find max and maximum or minimum or sum of all the values. Uh, you, you can't find the average or not with a built-in function, but actually you can just take the sum of the list and divide it by its length and that gives you the average uh, value in the list of, if it's a list of numbers. So, for example, here's a here's a bit of code that demonstrates just that. This generates a bunch of randoms. So we ask the user how many randoms, or we maybe specify that originally. Uh, we loop over this uh, um, range up to n randoms and uh, create a new random each time. Okay, there's no and there can be duplicates. There's no um, there's nothing to check whether there's duplicates or not. Then we sort them, uh, and then we print them out. And then we can do things like uh, find the minimum value in that list. We can find the maximum, the sum. And if we want the average, uh, we take the sum divided by the length. Notice I've used the f function here. So that, what does this do? It, it, uh, it calculates the minimum value and then prints that into the min equals as the, as the value. OK, let's just run that one. Again, I've temporarily fixed the, the list parameters so I don't have to keep answering questions. Uh, if I run that one, control shift F10, um, there are numbers 1, 2, 3, 16, 23, 25, 31. So the minimum is 1, the max is 31. If you add them all up, apparently you get 101. And if you take the average, then you get 14.42. If I run that again, get a different value. So in this case, uh, the numbers are much higher, actually, 1, 34, 35, and the average is 37. Okay, so you can use various functions to, to uh, get various values from the, the, the list. Um, what's, what's the difference between functions and methods? Well, uh, technically, they're all functions, but uh, we talk about methods as being... Um, met methods are part of the list data structure. Uh, we haven't really got to that yet, and uh, we won't for a little while. But if we if we create a, a data structure um, like a like a list, or I mean that's being created for us, then you can you can use this dot notation, randoms dot sort or randoms dot reverse. So it takes the object, takes the the list in this case, and sorts it and or reverses it. So it, it's it's applying it, it's part of the it's part of the list data structure itself. Whereas these built-in functions, they're actually more generic. They can you can use len len to find the length of lots of things, like a, a list or a like a string. You can use len to find the length of a string. Um, min and max for numbers, sum for numbers. Strictly speaking, as I say, in Python, all of them are functions. But you're often you often refer to data structure functions. So those that are part of the data structure, in this case, part of the list data structure. Um, as methods, and we'll hear much more about them uh, in the object-oriented programming course. Okay, let's stop there and then get on to list indexing.